Life in the UK practice test. Most common questions for the test. Episode 09. Presented by Reza Al Mahmood, Life in the UK instructor. Question 1. Which two of the following are crown dependencies? A. Isle of Man. B. St. Helena. C. The Channel Islands. D. The Falkland Islands. The correct answer is Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. Also good to know. There are also several British overseas territories in other parts of the world, such as St. Helena and the Falkland Islands. They are also linked to the UK, but are not part of it. Question 2. Is the statement below true or false? There is no place in British society for extremism or intolerance. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is. This statement is true. Question 3. Which of these statements is correct? A. Big Ben is the nickname of the Great Bell in the clock tower of the Houses of Parliament. B. Big Ben is a popular children's television character. The correct answer is Big Ben is the nickname of the Great Bell in the clock tower of the Houses of Parliament. Question 4. Why is 1918 an important date in the history of women's rights? A. Equal pay laws were passed. B. The first divorce laws were introduced. C. Women were given the right to vote. D. Women were made legally responsible for their child. The correct answer is. Women were given the right to vote. Also good to know that, by 1918 most of these reforms had been adopted. The voting franchise was also extended, to women over 30, and then in 1928 to men and women over 21. In 1969, the voting age was reduced to 18 for men and women. Question 5. Who appoints life peers in the House of Lords? A. The Chief Whip. B. The Prime Minister. C. The Speaker of the House of Commons. D. The Monarch. The correct answer is. The Monarch. Question 6. Which of the following is a line from one of Churchill's famous speeches? A. I have a dream. B. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. C. The ladies not for turning. D. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The correct answer is. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. That was Churchill's first speech to the House of Commons after he became Prime Minister in 1940. Question 7. Which Scottish poet wrote the Bruce about the Battle of Bannockburn? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. John Barber. C. John Milton. D. Robert Burns. The correct answer is. John Barber. Question 8. Which Northern Irish portrait artist, who died in 1941, painted some portraits of the royal family? A. Basil Blackshaw. B. Marky Robinson. C. Paul Henry. D. Sir John Lavery. The correct answer is. D. Sir John Lavery. Question 9. During the 18th century, Britain fought a number of wars with which country? A. France. B. India. C. South Africa. D. Spain. The correct answer is. France. Question 10. Which stories are associated with Geoffrey Chaucer? A. The Ambridge Tales. B. The Canterbury Tales. C. The London Tales. D. The Westbury Tales. 
The correct answer is The Canterbury Tales. Question 11. What were two important aspects of the Reform Act of 1832? A. It abolished rotten boroughs. B. It decreased the power of the monarch. C. It gave women the vote. D. It increased the number of people who could vote. The correct answer is It abolished rotten boroughs. And It increased the number of people who could vote. Question 12. Which two of these careers did Winston Churchill follow before becoming a Conservative MP in 1900? A. Journalist. B. Soldier. C. Teacher. D. Vicar. The correct answer is Journalist and Soldier. Question 13. Which of these statements is correct? A. Women in the Britain make up about a quarter of the workforce. B. Women in the Britain make up about half of the workforce. The correct answer is Women in the Britain make up about half of the workforce. Question 14. Who wrote musicals such as Cats, The Phantom of the Opera and Evita? A. Andrew Lloyd Webber. B. Gilbert and Sullivan. C. Julian Lloyd Webber. D. Sir Edward Elgar. The correct answer is Andrew Lloyd Webber. Question 15. Which two below are the fundamental principle of British life? A. A relaxed work ethic. B. Democracy. C. Extremism. D. Individual liberty. The correct answer is Democracy and Individual liberty. Also good to know. The fundamental principles of British life also include the rule of law. Tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs. And participation in community life. Question 16. What is Hansard? A. The Prime Minister's Progress Report. B. Parliament's Official Reports. C. Report about the Queen. The correct answer is Parliament's Official Reports. Question 17. Is the statement below true or false? Most people in the UK live in towns and cities. A. False. B. True. The correct answer is. This statement is true. Question 18. Is the statement below true or false? An example of a civil law case is when you have purchased a faulty item and made a legal complaint. A. False. B. True. The correct answer is. This statement is true. Question 19. The Enlightenment is known as. A. New ideas about politics, philosophy and science that were developed in the 18th century. B. The abolition of slavery throughout the British Empire in the 19th century. C. New laws introduced in the 18th century to protect workers. D. The Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. The correct answer is New ideas about politics, philosophy and science that were developed in the 18th century. Question 20. Who is the ceremonial head of the Commonwealth? A. The Foreign Secretary. B. The Queen. C. The Prime Minister. D. All of these. The correct answer is. The ceremonial head of the Commonwealth is the Queen. Question 21. If you can't make it to a polling station to vote, you can register for which of the following? A postal ballot. B. A virtual ballot. C. An absentee ballot. D. An absentee vote. The correct answer is. A postal ballot. Also good to know.
If it is difficult for you to get to a polling station or polling place, you can register for a postal ballot. Your ballot paper will be sent to your home before the election. Question 22. Which of these statements is correct? A. The official Church of State of the UK is the Church of England. B. There is no official church in the UK. The correct answer is. The official Church of State of the UK is the Church of England. Question 23. Which two services are funded by national insurance contributions? A. Local taxi services. B. National Health Service, NHS. C. State Retirement Pension. D. Supermarket Home Deliveries. The correct answer is. National Health Service, NHS. And. State Retirement Pension. Question 24. What is the Grand National? A. A tennis championship. B. A football cup competition. C. A horse race. D. A motor race. The correct answer is. The Grand National is a horse race. This is end of episode 9. To watch more video, please do not forget to subscribe this channel.